DTEC Matrix here with DTEC Gaming. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to fix your Xbox 360 Slim uh, power brick. Um, I've noticed that a lot of people have been having an issue um, with their Xbox just randomly shutting off um, in the middle of gameplay. Um, and I haven't found any good tutorials or any good fixes on YouTube or anywhere else on how to fix this. Uh, luckily enough, um, I was able to find a solution myself and I figured that I would go ahead and post this on the YouTube here and uh, see if I could help anybody else out. Um, so, um, you had your Xbox 360 Slim Power Brick here, uh, nothing too fancy. Um, and what you're going to need um, in order to open this thing um, and get all the screws out, um, you are going to need a Torx 10 um, screwdriver or um, if you happen to have, now these uh, bolts or screws that are in the bottom of your power brick here, once you get these rubber feet out, they're in each quarter. Um, those are actually um, security, uh, you need a security bit in order to get those out. Um, what I actually did was, is I took uh, this nice little handy nail punch here um, and uh, a hammer <laughs> and basically um, mash the little security pin that is in the middle of the, uh, the screw down so I could fit this nice uh, Torx 10 screwdriver down in there. And once you get that pin uh, mashed down, it's a perfect fit. You can get them out with no problem. Um, so if you happen to not have um, the security bits, um, that will work as well. Um, now for the sake of time, I went ahead and removed all of these screws um, from the power brick here. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Now basically all you want to do once you get the screws out is just lift the top portion of the power brick off. And once you do that, just kind of open it like so. Now the bottom you really don't need to mess with here, this portion over here. Um, you might want to hit it with the uh, air duster, you know, if there is any dust down in there, you know, go ahead and blow that out of there. Um, but what, you're wanna, what you want to be focusing on is the top portion here. This is where your fan is. Um, this is where the, uh, the problem resides, basically. So what you want to do um, is you want to unplug your fan. Um, you have a little wire here. Um, just go ahead and unplug that like so. Um, and I have a little bit of tape on here since I don't have any screws. Um, so this stuff doesn't fall out on me. So I'll go ahead and take that off. Alright. Just pry that off of there. Okay. Now, um, the top of your power brick. Um, you have your fan cradle right here. Now, you're going to have three little screws, um, one right here, one right here, and then you have one right in here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that or not right in there. Okay, and once you get those out, um, you can just basically lift this piece right on out of the power brick. And you can go ahead and set that part down. And um, here's your fan. Um, now, when you guys open this up, um, a lot of you guys are probably going to see a lot of dust, hair, you know, just a bunch of crap down in your fan here. Now, when I opened mine up, there wasn't actually much dust or hair or anything in it whatsoever. So I was wondering, you know, what could the problem be? Is it not getting enough air? Um, and that's what I figured the problem was. So basically, you know, um, you know, to get your fan apart, you obviously want to clean your fan out. Um, I have it held together here with tapes since I took the screws out. Um, but you have four tiny, tiny little uh, Phillips head screws, um, as well as the cradle. Those are also Phillips head. I forgot to mention that. Um, 
and basically that just lifts right off of there and there's your fan now the great thing is is you can just pop this right on out of here um, very easy and you can go ahead and you know clean this out with your air duster you know whatever you need to do um, and if you're experiencing noise um, with the fan you might want to take some 3 one oil or some WD-40 and put it in on that pin there just a little bit it doesn't take much and then once you clean it do that go ahead and pop that right back on um, put your screws back in you know put it back together um, and then you're done basically with the fan now since mine didn't have you know any it wasn't clogged it wasn't really dirty I figured okay what's the issue here so what I did and this has permanently fixed my problem with the Xbox just randomly cutting off because the power supply is getting too hot um, basically up in the top here once you get the fan cradle out um, you have two pieces. There's like these two little vents. There's one right here. Now this is secured in with screws. Um, just two little screws right here and right here. And then this just basically pops right out. And what it is is just like a little air vent thing. You know, nothing too special. Um, and basically what I thought it was doing was restricting airflow. I mean, I didn't see any reason for it to be in there, so I took that out. Um, and then also in the other end here, you have this little vent here as well. And I figured, okay, um, restricting airflow, let's take it out. So once I did this, and everything was cleaned out, and I put it back together, I did not have a single problem with it shutting off. Um, and I also have, you know, different things, you know, plugged into it, taking power from it, um, you know, headset, all that good stuff. Um, and I tested it after I did this um, for about a good six, seven hours. I just let the Xbox run, you know, playing a little bit of Halo and whatnot. And since then, I have not had a single problem with the power supply overheating or my Xbox just randomly shutting off so um, well guys I hope this video has helped you out um, make sure to subscribe to DTech Gaming as well as me um, DTech Matrix OG um, should be in the uh, subscribes list for DTech Gaming and uh, Hopefully here in the near future I will be posting some uh, other helpful tutorials and uh, we'll see you guys later. Thanks.